Here's what's wrong with it. First off, I get it. Uh, and I'm sorry, I should have warned you if you were eating. Here's what's wrong with it. It's not just, oh, this is a big girl. Look, if someone is big and they're working on themselves, no one has a problem with it. No one here has ever made... You shouldn't have a problem with it even if they're not working on themselves. F*** you. Why do you have a problem with people being fat? Just let people be fat, God. Like, it doesn't affect you. On with the show, Bible Stories. Oh God! What you doing? I'm fasting, Bernie. You know, if, if you were to endorse me for leader of the free world, everyone could be fasting all the time. It's true. Believe me, I know. Jesus, I'd like you to think about joining me. We can spread matching uniforms and crippling taxes across the world. You mean stealing? It's not a bad Bernie impression. Stealing. So stealing. No, no democratic socialism. I'm okay. I'm gonna go back to fast. What? I want to give you free health care. Wait. Free health care? Really? Yeah, What's that guy's voice? Except you'd have to pay for it. I'm I forget his name. In any way, shape, or form. He's one of my alerts. You and an assortment of dreidels. Dreidels. What? Look, I, I've had enough. I, I'm. I don't want any of your stuff. Like the persnickety juice. Gilbert Godfrey. Yeah. Can you like free speech? Very much so. Did he just just like do mask off anti-Semitism? Oh, cool. Got it. Love that. What is happening? I'm gonna. Oh, oh, and Jesus. Yeah. But... If you're truly God's son, and I'm not saying you are not, then jump down from this mountain. Surely the angels will throw my leg. If there's two things Jesus would have definitely done, it's endorse taxing poor people and uh, pushing Jews off of mountaintops. Uh, famously, Jesus himself uh, did not like the Jews. Even though he was one, I guess. Russia banning what they believe to be gay and pedophile propaganda. Okay. So no Balenciaga face masks in Russia anytime soon. Or gay men kissing in public. Right. That, that too. Which, you know, of course you shouldn't ban that, but I think it's weird. It, yeah. Huh? So, I, I look so my question of the day to you is, uh, as we move on, we'll be talking with Alex Jones about his, you know, with his interview with... Uh, He's like, of course you should ban that. I apologize. Like, oh, if I did today, man, it's man. going to happen. But the question to you is, where do you rank seem to Adolf upset about Hitler it. in terms of worst dictators throughout history? To be really clear, Hitler, not a fan. And look, Alex Jones... Uh -oh. you can... Okay, this, this is a dangerous game to play, dude. Right off the bat, he's like, well, but where would you really rank him, though? Like, mm, was he, like, the worst one? I don't know, man. And personally, I don't fucking care about ranking them at all. Okay, that's not a game I like to play. They're all dictators. They all suck ass. Some more than others, sure. But uh, I feel like at a certain point, it's not worth comparing. And uh, you're going to dig yourself quite a nice little hole there. Accuse him of a lot of things. Being an anti-Semite, not amongst them. If you have followed him, if you know anything about his history, that is not something that you would uh, you would try and label him. So uh, I think that uh, this is one of those issues where there's been a dirty bomb that's gone off and a lot of miscommunications. Yeah. And what? I think we always have to allow for the possibility that someone can be wrong, someone can be misled, and not necessarily be coming from a position of hate, even though what they say. If everything that you say is coming from a, is, is like hateful and anti-Semitic, maybe you're just a, a hateful anti-Semite. It can really be that simple, I promise you guys. It can be that, that easy. Say comes out as very hateful. That can happen. Why are they yeah, always right, running absolutely. defense 100%. for like the worst fucking people? The, you'll say a little bit more about this when we get there, but I think for the first time in history, Alex Jones was uncomfortable yes. in an interview. <laughs> Not wrong. <laughs> yes, he was. So, so that was pretty comical. You could see on his face, it was like the, and boom goes a dynamite. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh God. <laughs> Not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> this is a bad day. This is a really bad day. And I filed for bankruptcy today, and this is worse. <laughs> <laughs> 
for crying out loud, him and, uh, and, and Kanye, they uh, they lost, uh, I guess I'm trying to think, they owe how many hundreds of millions of dollars if well, you add it all up? Yeah. And look, and that's not right, and that's not fair. And two things can be true. People can be wronged, and people can be uh, misrepresented. And they can also say things with which you can disagree. Let me just lead with this. Oh, yeah, no, Here's they just disagree. Kind of, I don't have a lot of purity tests, just to be clear. But I will say this. When you look at some, some people on the right... Um, if people try and completely eliminate you from the pool because of one opinion, in other words, I do <laughs> Which, see some people. What's who that say, opinion, oh, buddy? If you don't side with Kanye, that means that you refuse to name them, right? Some of these people who will we'll, we'll, we'll say that out there. Some of these an, an, actual anti-Semites. No, no, hold on a second. Maybe there are some people out there who who, who think that someone like uh, Ye, I keep, I'm going to say Kanye West, think that Kanye, Kanye West has yeah. some points that they maybe agree with and maybe they disagree with and maybe I love how they even tried to respect his name and yet they'll never do that for a trans person who has an opinion as anti-semitic i agree with that but i do think that he was off the beam i think he was wrong and if you have people out there who say that one opinion disqualifies you and your entire body of work those are bad actors those are bad actors i think that you disqualify someone if the totality of their work for example a mitch mcconnell or for example we'll be talking today about a david french about a bill crystal about a jonah goldberg if the no Listen, if you save 10 people's lives and then you go and murder a guy, you're a murderer. You are currently a murderer. You're not a lifesaver, you're a murderer. You may have saved many lives in the past, okay? That can be true. But you're still a murderer. You're still a fucking murderer at the end of it all. Like, sometimes it's not about the totality of your work. Kanye West, to be clear, is a very talented individual and, a, you know, a musical genius. And he set a lot of trends. That is true, and I will stand by that. And you can do that and still be a piece of shit and uh, an anti-Semite and a Nazi. We're frankly, just a Nazi at this point. Um, you know, even if, like, let's say Bernie Sanders came out tomorrow. And God forbid, right? You know, he came out tomorrow and he's like, Oh, yes, I actually, uh, I, I don't like the Jews anymore. Uh, I know that I'm one of them, but uh, now I, I find the Jews quite repulsive. And I think that they're controlling the banks. I, I would say, fuck you, Bernie. What are you talking about? I don't think that would ever happen, but I don't care about the totality of Bernie's work at, like, at that point. Like, currently, Bernie's a piece of shit at that point. You know what I mean? And I feel the same about Kanye. The entirety of their work is consistently to undermine the conservative principles exactly, and that. the foundations of this Thank country for that they claim to espouse. That. That's where they should, their opinions are an eliminating factor as far as their validity. I have to be careful with the word eliminating. I mean eliminating. Jeez. From the pool of opinions, as far as yes. voices Nobody that you listen. trust. Yes. But it should never be based on just one opinion, because you are going to disagree what is with the opinion? every single person on Earth. Rapidly, on at least... No, it can absolutely be based on one opinion, if that one opinion is a uh, 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 Holocaust denial. Like, yeah, no, it can be based on one opinion, I promise. That's totally reasonable. At least one topic. And that's okay. For example, me and Alex Jones. I don't think the frogs are being made gay. You don't? They could be. <laughs> I thought that's one of the things he was proven right about. That's well, true. I thought they were just born that way. So I don't know. Frogs are asexual. I have no idea. Oh, so in the park, they figured it the out. Meme. Life found a way. Speaking of uh, animorphs, <laughs> what? Here is, and I know. Look, I should warn you if you have kids watching this show. There's nothing. Uh, that was the loosest association <laughs> yeah. ever. Here is a uh, a TikToker who can be described as um. I'm trying to think of how to. Oh, good. They're always really obese. normal with TikTokers. Um, rotund, portly, unhealthy, uh -huh, and this uh -huh, is someone uh -huh. who wants to be an example for your children, really selling sexualizing me. herself, and uh, decides to self-declare that she is hot. I could have my tummy mm. out, even if it's just a big bitch. talk for clout, and if you got something to say, shut you Okay, wait, I thought we were watching it. Okay, wait, we're watching the whole show, aren't we? We're watching the whole show, and this is just like a part of it. What's going on in here? Uh, we are watching a woman who's, you know, proud of her body on TikTok, I guess, just chilling out, and Steven Crowder doesn't like it. Your mouth, cause I'm a hot ass. I'm a hot ass. Okay. Oh, terrible song. Here's what's wrong with it. First off, I get it. Uh, and I'm sorry, I should have warned you if you were eating. Here's what's wrong with it. It's not just, oh, this is a big girl. Look, if someone is big and they're working on themselves, no one has a problem with it. No one here has ever made... You shouldn't have a problem with it even if they're not working on themselves. Fuck you. Why do you have a problem with people being fat? Just let people be fat, goddammit. Like, it doesn't affect you. Fun of someone for just being big. She says even if it's for chasing clout. So what is happening? We've now taken fat pride. And what is it? It's just vanity. 
in a dishonest way. In other words, people used to be vain because they thought they were very, very good looking, right? They were, yeah. they were uh, desirable. Now it's false vain. Internal hatred. I know exactly what it is because I used to be part of r slash fat people hate, okay? I was one of those uh, uh, fucking morons. So I know exactly where it comes from. It comes from a sense of superiority. And part of it, quite frankly, it comes from a sense of needing to be superior because your mom didn't love you enough growing up. All right? That's what it comes from. Take it from a guy who was there. All right? That's what it comes from. You feel like you're not superior, so you need to find somebody above whom you can be superior. That's all it is. Thankfully, I'm, I'm done with that. But Steven Crowder is not quite as mentally mature. Vanity, and it's demand. It's a demand that you find them attractive. So she says, I'm doing this for clout. Well, that's not a good thing. I understand that people shouldn't have bad self-esteem just because they're a little bit overweight, but they certainly shouldn't be looking to find their self-esteem and self-worth or clout in being morbidly obese. And then she goes on to say, and I'm hot. Incorrect. Yeah, so what? There are plenty of guys who find that hot, by the way. Uh, believe me, fat lovers exist. I shouldn't say fat fetishists, even though those definitely exist. But, you know, fat lovers do exist. It says everybody Whoa. who saw that picture. By the way, there's got to be better clothing for this, right? It seems like the clothing was intentionally tight in certain areas so as to accentuate the fat in other We are areas. using the term Wrong. clothing very loosely. Well, the, the clothes, <laughs> so they were cheap. holding on for dear life. Yes, exactly. Yeah, right? BBW. But she also like a tarp? Used, like, maybe. That maybe might be that something, be appropriate. yeah. Something. Yes. She's a very large individual. She's using the word tummy yeah, I think she's fat, guys. incorrectly. I think at that size, you can no longer say tummy. Right. I think, I'm just saying, look, she's she's the one putting it out there. And I mean, literally <laughs> hanging over everything else on her. That's just a weird look. Well, the problem is this. This is now being thrust upon your your, your children, of course, unless, unless you're trans. And of course, the Barbie doll stereotype. Okay, if you have a kid on TikTok, I'm sorry. That's your failure as a parent. Straight up. The type is completely acceptable. <laughs> why does look, that, this why is the first generation of children who, who, who very likely will live shorter, a shorter lifespan than their parents. Diabetes is a problem that's on the rise. They're yeah. all the about individual responsibility until it's the fucking parents. Course, we won't even get into some of the reasons that some of the co confounding factors there, some of the comorbidities. Who knows? But we, we have all kinds of cardiac problems that were yeah. not yeah. manifesting themselves at a young age. She's not talking about any of that. Just she, like she looks like that. Who fucking cares? You literally went out of your way to find this shit. Like what? Why are we talking about this? Why do I care? Shorter life expectancy. We have insulin resistance. This is not good. It's not healthy. And where's the fact checking? Where's the fact checking? See, fact checking on what? She didn't being, say anything. Uh, morbidly obese is unhealthy. And, she uh, didn't say to, anything. And then insert problem. She said that she's hot. That's subjective. That's subjective. I don't personally find it attractive. I don't. I'll be honest about it. I don't find that body type attractive. It's not my type. But some people do find it attractive, including her. And she's like happy with herself. And you just don't like that because you don't personally like how she looks. That's all it is. And there's no fat checking to be done. Problems here. That's the issue. She didn't say being people fat's have healthy. The eyes even. and ears of your children, mm -hmm. and then your kids go to a public school where teachers, yeah, 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 that's just as healthy as a uh, liver king. Yeah. Nobody said that. So, so when <laughs> and by the way, liver king is unhealthy. Believe me, I'm, I'm, I'm saying two extreme examples. Yeah, exactly. And then when they go home and their mom is trying to feed them broccoli, they're like, "But I don't need broccoli. I need to look like that." That doesn't yeah, happen. You cannot TikTok show me an instance of this way, happening. They they're just lying. They walk into a doctor's office. They're just stories. Immediately. The no, nowadays is, a doctor just says, no, 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 fine. Yeah. We've covered the story. Right? Oh, that's not even hardly true. No, doctors fat shame all the fucking time. You you got a fat person who goes into the doctor and they're like, hey, doc, uh, I bumped my knee. My knee hurts because I bumped it. There's a bruise on my knee and I bumped it. And the doc's like, oh, maybe maybe you should lose some weight. I don't know. You could help. Doc, I my knee might be shattered. There's a bruise on it. It could be broke. Oh, well, I lose some weight, maybe. And like, like this happens. <laughs> like, I don't know what to tell you. Right? Obviously, there could be other things wrong, but immediately it's like, ah, I can solve all your problems. I feel like today's work is pretty easy. Let's <laughs> just don't be that. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every single part of your life that could kill you will, those those chances will go down. Uh, unless that, that unless the dame walks into the doctor's office with Gloria Aldred and he's like, you look beautiful and brave and uh, just, just keep doing what you're doing. Just More of that. Doesn't happen. You are. Grab a lollipop uh, just on the way. You know, grab, the, grab the whole <laughs> jar. Yes. <laughs> I can tell you like those. All right. Which brings us to something else here. Is there a war on, we've talked about this before, but James Cameron said the quiet part out loud. Uh, he was, you know, plugging his new uh, uh, movie, Avatar. Is anyone looking forward to Avatar Not 2? Nope. I walked no. out of Avatar 1 just Facts, as the last though. time I can remember. Actually, facts. Out of sheer boredom. 
I just walked out. I was in Los That's Angeles. Fair. I was at uh, somewhere in. But the, they they tried to save also, the tree. I, I was just like, I can't do this. This is just so boring. <laughs> it looks like a video game mixed with a pride parade. I can't. I just can't do this anymore. Wait, a pride That's parade. Fair. So is anyone actually looking forward? Comment below. Oh, Avatar too. He was promoting Avatar: The Way of Water. <laughs> And he, this will piss you off. He had something to say, and it's been going viral, and, and there's something here that's more subversive that I... Again, I hope people are understanding what it is that they're hearing. So he told The Hollywood Reporter, A lot of things I did earlier I wouldn't do career-wise, and just risks that you take as a wild, testosterone-poisoned young man. He went on to say, I always think of... Wait, hold on. Uh, uh, a lot of things I did earlier I wouldn't do career-wise, risks that you take as a wild, testosterone-poisoned young man. I always think of testosterone as a toxin. They have to slowly work out of your system. Oh! I don't like it that much. I'll be honest. Uh, before they even give their takes, that is kind of a cucked thing to say. No, nah, I love testosterone, man. Fuck that. I, I take testosterone supplementary, okay? I don't got enough of it. Can't get enough of it. Can never get enough testosterone. Love me some tea. All right. So, yeah, it, that's pretty cringe. That's pretty cringe. I'll give them that. This is how self-important people can be in Hollywood. Here is James Cameron at the Avatar premiere quoting a language he made up in a shitty movie that he wrote as though it was deep. Watch and cringe. The, uh, the Navi say in the movie... Yeah, um, yeah, you know, I know it's on there. It means I see you and it means um, I, I appreciate you and I understand you. So i just like to say coming to my cast. Oh... He, no, that's oh. kind of up his own ass. I'll give him that one. Look at that grin. That's definitely Huff in his own farts. That's enough. I can't. Yeah, too much to giga chat energy. Exactly. You got he it. quotes his own fake language. <laughs> that's the equivalent to a guy having, you know, a Japanese tattoo, not knowing what it means, only it's his own language and he doesn't really know what it means. Steven, Steven. Is that what it was? Takame? That's a stretch. Like that. Takame? I, it, to, yeah. I see you. Oh, okay. I see you. And what does that even mean? <laughs> I see you. These stupid terms. I see you. Well, yeah, unless you're blind. Is that ableist? I don't think so. No. Guy's just an absolute douchebag. And now he's going to give us advice for it's society. And his advice is we need less testosterone. Not well, really. let me just give you something uh, here to, to, to. I mean, the, the whole I see you thing is like, it's definitely way up his own ass, but it's cl pretty clear what it means. Like, yeah, I mean, it just means like, oh, I. I I get it. Like I, I, I empathize with you, right? Like that's like just replace C with empathize. I empathize with you. That's it. It's pretty simple to chew on. Testosterone levels have plummeted. Not great, but simple. So from 1999 to 2016, testosterone levels uh, for young men dropped by 25 percent. Oh shit! I didn't mean to do now, that. Oh. Here's what happens: is when you say toxic masculinity, oh, well. right? You associate testosterone with toxicity. Oh, that is good. Actually, it's a toxic said, poison. Yeah. Um, being masculine isn't toxic. Now, if we want to say that abusive men, men who are violent immorally, because violence is amoral, but immoral violence, right. men who are undisciplined, men who, you know, men who make up a huge toxic percentage of Toxic masculinity, sure, yes. Those are bad men. But to say that masculinity is toxic, that's a problem, and then you... I'm sure Radfem say that. Turfs love to say that. But, uh, you know, actual leftists, uh, people who know what the fuck they're talking about do not say that, okay? Most people don't think that. Most people know what is meant by that, you know? Like, toxic masculinity means the bad traits of masculinity. In fact, not to say anything negative about the uh, drug addicts that I work, that I used to work with, but I would do, like, a toxic masculinity group session with them, and they got it, you know? Like, th like they understood what I meant, and, you know, they're not well-educated individuals, usually. So if they can get it, you know, I'm sure Steven can, can figure it out. Start getting into the idea of fundamentally altering hormones. Let's get to testosterone and the kinds of things that testosterone does. Ladies, I'm not sure if you want testosterone to be continually dropping. Some of the benefits. Uh, cognition. I, I know everyone thinks about strength. Mm -hmm. Cognition. Especially for older men. You're talking about attention. You're talking about processing speed, executive function. T-supplementation may enhance cognitive function in older men with low T-levels, but improvement varies with the cognitive domain assessed in the test given. Uh... Indicating improvement of processing speed at executive function with tea therapy. Um, that is interesting. I'd have to look into that more. You're talking about visual, uh, your, your sort of visual uh, perception, verbal memory. Testosterone, what else does it do? It helps to, uh, helps to heal injuries. Yeah. Right? Helps with recovery. It even helps with elderly women who have neck fractures. 
has the effects on strength are, Wait, are I thought very, estrogen very obvious, was for just to be clear. And by the way, hit the like crashes. button if you guys Maybe know, if you guys out there uh, I don't know. know that testosterone is a good thing. Uh, or women, if you like your men to have more testosterone. But he's like trying to prove this whole big point when like the whole thing was just a virtue signal. Like he's just acting like a cucked little boy because uh, he's, he's trying to like show how woke he is. That's all that was by James Cameron. Like that's it. You don't have to read into it more than that. Testosterone. Here's the thing. Testosterone also, by the way, it 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 uh, it also has behavioral benefits. This is something that people don't realize. They'll say, "Well, testosterone can re actually result in more risk taking," and this is true. It this can. is something a lot of people don't know. When people used to say that women were smarter than men, uh, I don't that's know that's not really true. And men aren't necessarily smarter than women. What you do see is men occupy both sides of the bell curve. That's right. right. So men make up almost all of our violent offenders in prison. But at a certain point. The only geniuses left are men. There are more women who are above the average no, point on the bell curve. No, Their cluster is more towards this. the middle top. Just too good. Men occupy both extremes of that spectrum. Yeah. And that can be, yes, that can be in part due to testosterone. So what does that tell you? It's not the hormone in and of itself. It's how we raise young men. If you have a father to channel all of the positive attributes yeah. that testosterone brings, guess what? It's a net benefit. It effectively can be a superpower. And I use that term very loosely. I know you guys all watch Marvel films. I don't. I don't know about adult. all that. But, for example, <laughs> How dare you. Um, testosterone does encourage risk taking. That's why men take more risks. That's why men knock over banks. Or men decide to go out on their own and innovate, new, you know, like Apple, like computers, like the internet, like fire. Uh, testosterone can well, make women, men more Women famously yeah, never more aggressive, And that's why you can have bad men who start wars and genocide. But that's also why you can have good men who kill those men, good men who fight the- This isn't entirely due to testosterone. Testosterone is just a hormone that mostly affects secondary sex characteristics. It can help with cognitive function and it can help with, uh, you know, energy levels. But I think another thing that needs to be taken into consideration with those studies, and probably something that they did touch on in the study that Steven Crowder did not, is other various factors. Older men lose testosterone as they age, and it's an unfortunate reality of aging as a man. W uh, increased testosterone, resetting it back to what it's supposed to be uh, when you're younger, can improve your cognitive function, both because you're setting it to the thing that your body is used to, and because it probably helps with those secondary sex characteristics that are beginning to, you know, go flaccid or fail or whatever else. You know, like there are other various considerations to be had there, other factors. And um, I feel like that uh, Steven Crowder's is kind of leaving those out purposefully, of course, uh, because, you know, he's fucking Steven Crowder. But I am trying to give him the benefit of the doubt at every turn here. But uh, he's just like, like he, he's overblowing the effects of tea a little bit. Like I've been like... I've been on 0.6 milligrams of testosterone, which is about, um, let's see, I forget how many milligrams it is, but I've been taking like quite a bit of testosterone lately, basically. And I was off of it for like a week, two weeks, because I'm trying to ration it. And, you know, like before I was like, there's a clear before and after effect being on it as somebody who's low T. You know, I did have higher energy. I felt like I could do better in the gym, but it's not all that, you know, like it's, it's, it's great, but it's not all of that. You know what I mean? Like, it's a fucking... It's a hormone. All right? It's not magic. So, just saying. Wars for the side of good. Do you think that bad oh, guys... Man, I leave my other equipment. Do you think that people who want to watch the world burn, do you think they want to do without testosterone? Do you know what the Nazis did? Do you know the cocktail? The human cocktail they oh, had good, the their soldiers on? You're talking about Famously methamphetamine, left us, you're talking about opiates, you're talking about very likely steroids for a lot of them because they said we want our men as strong and as aggressive as possible. Yeah. What you need are moral men who have those same capabilities and have it channeled. Testosterone is, uh, is incredibly important and we all, it's one of those things, we always want the wartime, always want the wartime presidents yeah, during yeah. war, Winston Churchill. They reached all the way back, said, we need Churchill. Two years after that, they said, ah, oh, he's not supporting uh, socialized health care. The testosterone now is a problem. Aggressivity, huh? risk-taking, these... Can you not uh, support socialized health care if you're low-T? Like, or if you're if you're high-T, I mean? Is it only low-T individuals that support socialized health care? I mean, I am, like, naturally low-T, so, you know, maybe there's something to that. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe Steven Crowder's on something. Lead us to occupy oh, both ends of the bell curve. Guess what? We need to teach our young men how to channel it properly, not trying to eliminate their testosterone. Because you know what you have? If men don't have testosterone, they live shorter lives. 
they live weaker lives. Yeah. They live more miserable lives. Well, if, if he's that worried about and it, then maybe he should be worried about microplastics. By the way, then women say, where are, where are all the good men yeah. gone to? Okay. Well, take a guess. Yeah, exactly. Women don't like this either. They end up with a bunch of beta males, and they're like, is there a good man to be... That depends on the woman you ask. Um, there are many, many women who love femboys, okay? If you're a femboy out there, or if you're, like, lower T, trust me, there is a woman for you. And if you want to be higher T, well, there's ways to fix that. So. Found out there's somebody who's maybe going to stick up for my honor when I'm not just going off and getting him into a fight in, on purpose in a bar or something like that. Right. Or somebody who's going to defend our home if somebody should break in in the middle of the night and threaten harm to anybody that's in that residence. You need men to have that ability. And you, I think you hit on it. Why can't it's women fun. do that? Fathers are the ones that can help men understand how to bridle that power and to turn it into something that is good. I remember the Gillette commercial that we covered maybe a year or two ago. I can't remember when it was, where men, boys were wrestling on the ground and they were saying, boys will be boys. And they kind of repeated it in this long kind of thing. And it's like, no, 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 no. We have to break that stereotype. No, I do want them wrestling and having fun and roughhousing a little bit, not only with other. Wait, wasn't it like, and I, I, I loosely know the thing he's talking about. Like, wasn't the whole point of that that, like, they were bullying girls or something? I don't know. Like, I, I feel like that is a bad trope, by the way, that boys will be boys. Uh, because they carry that into adulthood where it's, like, men literally just, like, putting down women or, or talking about them sexually. Like, that's not just a boys will be boys thing anymore. That's disgusting. For kids, I'm not saying beat somebody up, but I'm with saying with their dad as well. True. That's how you learn your place. That's how you understand the limits and the lines you can't cross with other men, right? We have that kind of check. Bridled strength is pri priceless. Yeah. You cannot, you cannot change the world from a position of weakness. No. It's not possible. Good example, we've talked about it with Joe Lewis. Joe Lewis could what? end all what of our lives here. What does that even mean? Mm -hmm. We live by his mercy, and he is incredibly sweet. And so we're grateful to our wonderful Lord Joe Lewis that he doesn't go absolutely, <laughs> you know, God forbid he develops epilepsy and watches anime at some point. But it's different from that in a Yorkshire Terrier because guess what? When, when Some of those jacked dudes middle, I, know I know love that Joe anime. Lewis is going to get to work. That's what got me into lifting. And we can't give, by the way, Cameron too much flack because keep in mind, uh, it, it's a little bit tough. There's a give and take depending on the day. The left is sometimes saying that testosterone is, is not, it's a toxin for men. Mm. It's not. When injected directly into a woman, however, to unnatural levels, and, and, and just look at what testosterone has done to Elliot Page. So, Well, hold on now. If it's not a toxin, then why can't we do that for people who want it, Steven? I don't get it. No chance chowder isn't on tea. I'm on tea. I don't care if chowder is on tea. Like, it doesn't matter. It's, it's irrelevant. Like, he, like it, it wouldn't contradict his point either, to be fair. I understand your point. But, like... At the end of the day, just let people do what they want. Like, I would question Crowder on, like, why he cares. Like, why do you care if a woman does that? Okay, so what? Like, it's not your fucking body. It's not your choice. So, uh, on Monday, Vladimir Putin signed into law that true? Uh, a new bill sick, outlawing Oscar. what they uh, refer to as materials that promote LGBT. See, they don't go Q-A-I-P. Yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised they went with the T. Me too. They say queer. Like, LG. That's. I, I've taken. I've taken to just saying queer at this point. Like I'm done adding letters. Queer is all encompassing. It includes like gay, lesbian, trans, bisexual, asexual, uh, you know, agender, whatever. Like it includes all of them. Just say queer. Just say queer. Just say queer. Start lo normalizing saying queer, guys. Please, for the love of God. It's all you get. It also shuts them the TV? up. You will say, give me B and T. I say no. You do Did not say get Elliot? your L and G, and even that is a stretch here in Russia. So they banned materials that promote well, cool. gay, queer, whatever lifestyles. Here you go. For years, being gay... Had it's probably because if he doesn't, I'll bet there's YouTube restrictions. But I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. And we'll say Steven did a good job. It's been extremely tough in Russia. Now it's about to get even harder. After Russian parliament passed what it called <laughs> no the I'm feeling generous today. propaganda law, claiming in part it's the rainbow's always supposed to be inclusive. The problem now is the rainbow's been co-opted by the LGB alliance. You know what I mean? Personally, if you want my opinion, we need to bring back the pink triangle. Okay, we need to put the pink triangle real big on the front of the uh, on the front of the flag and like outline it in white. Okay, that's what we got to do. Because yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Um, like, because doing that will remind people why we even need all this shit. You know what I mean? Like, it's a big fat reminder of like, yeah, remember what they did to us. Remember what they took from us and what they're continue to try to take from us. Right. And also with all the anti-Semitism going on, it might be a good reminder of that as well. That like, hey, you know, like this is what that leads to. You know, I made a while back, I made a, uh, a design of the flag that I actually quite like. 
if I do say so myself, with the pink triangle on it. And I, I would think I think it'd be cool if we implemented it. But that's up to the community. So it's a defense against US influence. Saddam I cannot put it any other way. The United States of America has become the global center of this sodomy. <laughs> Let them live there. Uh, Do not touch us. Okay. I mean, he's not wrong. <laughs> no. Don't touch us. He's just looking at some Ew. Trudeau. He's like, don't touch. Stay don't away. touch me. <laughs> you and your black face and gay hands. Nice. <laughs> And very short. The United <laughs> States saw the me. They just, boy, they stuck that landing. It's like a nightstand. Yeah. There's no LGBT. Like, the men who like to have sex with men, how does yeah. that even? A man cannot accommodate a man unless you do something gross. <laughs> <laughs> so under the new law, individuals can be fined over $6,000 for what they refer to as LGBT propaganda. Yeah. Uh, over $3,000 for demonstrations. Which can include men just kissing in public, LGBT by the way. Like two causes, men. information that encourages a change of gender among uh -oh. teenagers. So here's the thing. Some of that seems fair. Right? Yeah, no, um, no, 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 it doesn't. And if we put that into, uh, into effect here, we could just basically eliminate the national debt just from the fines to Disney. <laughs> How? <laughs> So uh, you can comment below on what you yeah. think about this, and if you can at least understand where they're coming from. Of course, I don't think that anyone should be punished just for being gay. Of no. course, I believe that you everyone should have equal rights that. here in this country. I don't believe that marriage is a fundamental human right. It's just not popular to believe right now, so we can't say it. But I believe in civil unions. And that's always been my I'm position. I'm not being generous But in I certainly that don't think that someone should be arrested for being gay. Someone should be mistreated for being gay. Someone should uh, not enjoy the same rights as everyone else. But I do understand them right now trying to safeguard when they look in the he United would say He would do exactly the same grift for trans people. People if it were bad to discriminate against trans people unfortunately like like societal wise unfortunately it's not right now and it's a popular grift that he can still cash in on and they see children being put on puberty blockers when they see hypersexualized issues being taught to children ages kindergarten through third grade. And you'll hear some people say this two is men a boogeyman kissing. argument i hear people from the left saying no no it's not a boogeyman argument it's not a what if it's not a slippery slope argument there had to be legislation proposed to stop it because of yeah. the policy of the entire DNC, to be clear. So I understand this reaction. It might be an overreaction from Russia, but you also have to understand, like with Brittany Griner, they don't share your values. No, 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 no. I don't care. What have we said, chat? Say it with me. If your culture or religion discriminates against queer people, your culture or religion is dog shit. Say it with me, chat. Okay? Repeat it. Love it. Know it. Memorize it. Do not forget it, okay? If your culture slash religion obligates that of you, it's dog shit. And you should find a new one. Thanks for watching, and be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. Hit the notification button to be notified when I upload. And that's about it from me. But, uh, yeah, so thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.